Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this episode, um, we are going to talk about a couple of things. First of all, a lot of people have been suggesting to me that I use a um, a system of using trains where all the iron stations are named the same so that the, um, the, the, the wagons can pick up stuff from each station. Now that's a very interesting idea, but I want to test it out before I play it in the game. So that is not going to come this episode, but it is a possibility for a future one. In the meantime, I would love to get our research going back online and to use uh, to get to get that sorted out we should use make use of our red circuits which are handily lying in these sweet little boxes here so I want to make a um, we're gonna put a train down for this reverse this it's another cool thing that I don't know if you've ever seen that guys but um, if your train locomotive is facing the wrong direction it won't snap to the, the station points, but if you turn it the right direction, it will. Very, very handy. All right, this is being filled with lovely rocket fuel, so have that, please. Uh, right, how are we doing on these things? Yeah, we're good. We we're walking fast. Perfect. Just what I want. Uh, here, take that bot, please. And um, let's put down some cars. Do, do, do. There they are. I only have three. Uh, I'll have to go and collect some. Uh, from our building train. These are wonderful. Look at how they're going. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now, um, right, let's look for them. It's probably the easiest way of doing anything. There we go. We have a few more. All right, so all of these, uh, looks like all the stations are filled up with stuff. So why is that one not going? Why is this copper train not moving along. Oh, did we decide we decided not to use that station? That's fine. But the rest of these looks like there is tons and tons of materials that the um the the machines can use there. Okay, let us go and put down another one of these guys. We're going to have to make sure we can get all of these slots done. Let's choose this thing and then we'll copy paste these. No. Oh. Oh, okay, fine. You want to do it that way? I can do it that way, game. I'm not I'm not bothered by this. <laughs> Apparently, it uh, allocates to a uh, a reserved slot before taking an empty slot. That's very interesting. I did not know that. So we're just going to do this because otherwise it's going to mess us up there. Okay, grand and great. Perfect. Fine, lovely. Okay, um, this is going to Red Circuit's pickup. Great. Sort this out. Now, we don't have a receiving station just yet, but we're going to build one. All right, we want to go to inventory full. Uh, and I think that should be just fine. I think, let's go down and let's take our building train back to the main station. Okay. Go to there. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing production modules. Really fascinating. Oh yeah, that's right. We um we added uh, a couple more machines in this direction. Okay, here we are. There we go. Coming back to base. Yeah, we got to get science back online. I'd love to see how that's gonna gonna go. Gonna happen. Getting all this stuff sorted out. Ah, yes. And one more thing that we need to fix, and I'm going to stand very near to the appropriate chest for this. Um, <laughs> while the idea to use these storage chests is a great one, uh, there is an issue with places where we have uh, provider chests. Let's just zoom out a little bit. I mean, not provider, but active, active chests, active providers. This one doesn't seem to have any because what happens is if you have active providers, they're going to fill up these storage chests. And thank you to whoever mentioned that to me in the comments. I really appreciate that. I, I just didn't think about it. Okay. And here is the only place we have active providers and we're getting requester chests from those. Um, I think that's okay. I don't think I'll even bother with that, to be honest. I think it's fine. Here, do we, I don't think we have any active... And these guys are just requesters. That's okay. We could change these to 
Do we have any providers? I don't think we do, unless these guys... No, those are all passives, which is great. Okay, this is going along quite swimmingly, I have to say. Wow, every single station is filled with ore. <laughs> that's so good. Of course, we're not using much of the ore here, but uh, that's okay. It's all it's all working. I think we're okay on that. So I hope I have allayed your fears um, that all that stuff is going to get clogged with stuff. Um, so what we're going to do in the next couple of episodes, in this one, we're gonna we're gonna make that red circus station very shortly. Um, but I also want to scout out new iron deposits. Oh, there's one here. We can test this with that. Um, and possibly build some train tracks elsewhere. Oh, 50 million ore. That looks really tasty. Thinking about maybe this direction as well. Um, yeah, because if we keep this smelting online, we are going to need ore. Because that one is running out very terribly. 6.3 million left only. Um, some people have suggested, hey, why don't you go and use your plates that are being made here? to supplement the bus. Yes, I could do that, but the only thing is I'd have to build many, many more of these columns, which I might do anyway. Um, we'll just see. I'm trying out a new strategy where I might keep in some of this smelting here to feed the non-science things, i.e. things like the mall and um, what else? What else can we feed? Robot making? Um... And just basically anything that's not science. I'm wondering if I should just put science elsewhere in its own base. That could be another option, or I could just move it along. Or maybe I'll sh I could just tear it down, because beacon science is going to take up a lot less room than, than the current science setup we have. Okay, so we don't actually need to replace those chests. That's an awful lot of chests over here to replace. Let's see how many there are. There are several. There are 343 of them. I I, I don't want to do it. I, I think it's a waste of chests if I were to do that. I'm never ever going to use 343 active providers. Uh, right. So let's go down south a bit. I, I think we don't actually need any tracks. I think we just need belts, and I think we're good with that. Um... Do we need anything else? I don't think we need anything else. I think we're good. Except for, we do need some... We have those. We need those guys. I kind of wish that these would auto-sort. That would be nice. Um, or at least, I, I've tried to put you know the most used things at the top, though inevitably I end up moving them. Okay, so this is here. What we're going to do is we have an extra station. And I'm just going to call this Base Bus... Um, we don't need this to be steel iron. Why is this steel iron? I don't know. Uh, this is going to be red circuits. Drop. Uh, red circuits. We'll just call it red circuits. Okay. Um, and we'll have it be red. Because it's handy that way. Now. I am considering just doing a bot based sort of um, thing here. What I want to do is our red circuits connect to the line right at this point here. So I'm considering adding an extra line here uh, so that we can get stuff. Right now modules are taking up a huge amount of red circuits, but I'd love to have one red circuit simply for making these uh, rocket parts here. This would take a half a lane of stuff. Okay, let me... I'm just going to connect that up there so we can start getting a little bit of science going. But what I could do is I I could I could supplement that one line and then I could add another one. I don't know how many blue belts we're going to get. I did not make the calculations on our current uh, assembly there. <sighs> right. Um, how do we want to do this? We could just feed it quite simply with with belts and have try for two, maybe three, four. Well, it's easiest if we do four lanes out of red circuits. So I think that might be the best thing to do. Let's do this. There we go. We'll just combine these guys. All right. 
Just copy this over. And get rid of the tracks. Tracks? Uh, if you don't usually copy stuff, tracks can be a pain in the socks. Like a severe pain in the socks. Like a pain you might never have witnessed before, sock-wise. Okay. So sometimes... Okay, put that down there. Man, are these in... These poles are extremely inconvenient here. There, that one will be there. Okay. And I think this is mostly what we'd like to do. And we're just going to connect up each of these guys in a way that makes sense, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it makes sense. Uh, right, we're going to go this way. There we are. Of course, that's probably the wrong direction, but we don't really care that much. All right. And we want to do kind of the same thing here. Oh, there we are. Kind of figured that might happen. And this one should be the other way, technically. We want to make them all match. Not that it's important to match stuff. Matching is just generally a something you do for fun and fluff. Okay, let's do that though. I'm going to copy this arrangement here. Okay, like that. I'm going to try to get this. Would it be like that? Ah, that's the that's the issue. Uh, right, we need to get rid of some of these things like that. Aha, there we go. I think this is what we want because we need to make these things move outward as we go further along the line here. There we go. That's what I wanted. This one is not needed. No, I ran out of belts. No, help, robots! I need belts. Immediately, please. Ah, uh, right. I have way too many inserters as well. Let's kind of get rid of some of those. Thank you, bots. I appreciate the help. We need more belts. Very good. Very good. There we go. Getting more belts. I'm going to need a fuzz ton of undergrounds as well. Ah, uh, right. Let's put this guy over there. Let's kind of extend this out a little bit. And I guess we could just plow right through the middle of this forest here, which is going to be fine. Go. We'll just put all these guys there, and then we can grab ourselves a, a long underground like this and make it easy on ourselves. Oopsies. Oh my goodness. I say that and then <laughs> it doesn't happen quite the way I want it to. It's all right. Uh, right. We're going to just do this. We're going to have uh, undergrounds going up here. This is going to be a massive material we're moving. So when you're building um, bots, they're really not designed for long distance hauling. So when you take belts up, the undergrounds help improve UPS because it's only counted as two tiles instead of 10. Uh, so that's, that's kind of an important consideration that you need to have. Let's get this out of here. Oh dear me, that's not really what I wanted. Darn it. It's okay though, we're, we're gonna be fine. It'll be fine. All right, bots, I need stuff. Give me, give me things. I really need materials. How about giving me some of those um, those undergroundies that you got there? Uh, the other thing is one can convert one's entire bus into undergrounds, and that does help save UPS on larger uh, maps and stuff like that if you have a big, big base, mega base. I didn't... Okay, so I don't know if we're actually going to get enough... 
enough stuff here. Let me... I think we'll do this kind of thing. Oh my god, I'm actually doing that. Okay. And now, I can grip these guys again. The longs. And then put them probably where we turn. Okay, let's get this out of the way. There we go. So I'm leaving two spaces in between, and that is just mostly for passing um, around things. Oh, you know what I should do? One thing that I completely forgot to do uh, is <laughs> put in a four to four balancer, which kind of is a little bit necessary at this point. So let's just do that. Uh, that is this one, blop, blop, and get our thing three in between. This is the only way I can remember this design, by the way. That's why I always do it that way. Oh, not that one. There we go. Boom, boom. And those are just fine over there. Okay. So this is going to help us unload all of our carriages evenly. We need to change this thing to be unloading red circuits instead of copper. Okay, let's just choose that. And now we have a functional station. Okay, let's invite our train over here. Do, 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 do. Let's see, we'll try the, uh, the search thing. This one, okay, that one actually came up, how nice. Uh, right, oh, we need to go to base, bus, red circuits. I think that's right. Uh, and we're gonna go inventory empty, go. Ooh, it's unhappy. It is unhappy. Why is it unhappy? Oh, that's why. Okay, I see. That's just fine. <laughs> it's just fine. I'm going to put a couple of chain signals here for each of these stations um, because the entryway is fairly long. Okay, and soon we should see red circuits coming along these lines and uh, hopefully meeting us as we get down the, down the way here. All right, let's do this. And I think what I want to do is I want to take one of these guys. In fact, we'll just take the top line out here. And we're going to take this up. I guess I could do this. Instead of making undergrounds with all the others. Okay, and we're just going to have that one going that way. Let's see. Get rid of one of these lines, say okay. Then we're gonna have our three going along here. Oh wow. Ooh, look at that tasty red circuits flowing along right there. Kaboom, guys, kaboom. That is looking really, really lovely. That's <laughs> so exciting. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take it also along for supplementation to like do this nope, nope, not not quite that way no 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 like this and um, maybe put it in here because some are being taken off there already but if we put it in here this will add many many more circuits to the thing we'll get better throughput as well okay that looks much better. Is there a slowing thing over here somehow? Just wave my magic wand to make sure that... No, it's all good. I think just parts are being taken off. All right, so what is this over here? This is speed modules. Okay. And those are rocket parts. Yes. Right. I think what we'll do is get our... Okay, that just was looking very strange to me. It's all good though. Okay, let's take this one, go this way. There we are. Supplement this one. Oops, 
parentheses. I am just not thinking straight today. There we go. Uh, and then we'll take this along as well. Here. Okay, that's actually enough to supply that entire thing. And now look what we're short on. We're short on greens. <laughs> oh, the game is trolling us so well. But look at this. We finally have um, things. We have things happening. We've got our uh, rocket control units once again being put into the rocket. So what do we got here with this um, mine? Oopsies. I wanted to check the here. 4.2 million. Is that enough to worry about? I mean, we could have our rockets in the base, or not our rockets, but our robots in the base dealing with it. Um, that might be okay. We have a recycling system, I believe, for copper ore somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember if I put one in. I thought I might have. Maybe it's around this area. There it is. It's right there. Could actually have that working. That might be okay. Oh, why not? We could do it. Okay. We're going to just put a few miners down here. Um, while this is not doing much, because when it starts doing a lot of things, then we can just say, yeah, forget this. And um, that'll be okay. Mining productivity. We want mining for... Aha, chest mining. But, but, we need to change out these guys to be passive providers instead. We don't want them to be active providers. Because we found out that active providers don't really work the way we thought they did. Okay. Um, mining compact small, no. Chest mining, I called it. All right. Grab this again, call it chest mining, and we'll put in our uh, chest here. There we go. Replace the blueprint in here. Oh, dear me. I hate when I do that. I hate when I forget to press enter here. Uh, right, so we're going to delete that one. I'm going to call this one good. Grab that. Remove this one and make kind of more of a coherent system here. I put it far away so that it wouldn't connect accidentally to any electrical poles while we still had the wrong chests in there. Okay, there we are. This is quite a bit big patch, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Oh dear. No, don't do that. Please. The wrong thing was there. Right. There's that one. These outlines are slightly hard to see on top of this thing, but hopefully we'll be okay. That one can go, that one can go. And soon enough we'll get all of this mined quite nicely. Get these out of here, get that one out. And others that don't make any sense. Um, I guess because they're just not necessary. I mean, I suppose they could mine like a half a thing or something, but it's not, eh, not strictly desired at this point. Oh, right. I, are these all covered? Not quite. Let's extend our construction range over there and bring over power. Let's get this going on. Oh, that's right. We also need these to be covered uh, with, <laughs> with RoboPort uh, logistics system. I kind of forgot about that bit. But very necessary, for sure. Um, let's put this one here and get a power pole. Are we still blinky? We are blinky over here. Let's move this guy in this direction for that. And then one down here just for these guys. 
All right, stuff is now happening. Now we have bots taking all this ore to that tiny one little requester chest. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Probably I could set up more requester chests now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go and see what's uh, what's going on with that. Wow, look at the reds flowing in. It is beautiful, is it not? Oh, so nice. So now the whole factory is, is going to be kicking in. Uh, somebody asked about power, and I said we couldn't really estimate it because we don't know how much we're using. At the moment, we're using 1.1 um, giga, gigawatt of power. What is this? Well, those are accumulators that we're uh, drawing on power, right? Um, this, I'm thinking it might increase. How is nuclear? It is not being used because we have the solar panels working for us. But I feel like this is going to increase just because we're going to have many, many more uh, bots coming online with stuff. Okay. I'm wondering also if I should add like another requester chest at the end of each of these places just to put on some more uh, ore here. Oh, why not? Let's grab this. I'll just have him put it on that side of things. Get rid of that tree, please. Okay. And add one more roboport. Be over here. Okay, nice. So now these guys can get filled up uh, with a little bit of ore. I don't know if this one is getting full or not. It's requesting tons. Lots and lots. Uh, well, these are all... They're all going to request lots and lots. <laughs> well, okay. In any case. Well, what should happen with these? If, I, if I'm looking at this correctly, the, the second lane... This is going to put this on the opposite lane of these guys. So this hopefully should get used first and not the one from the train because it'll go on that second lane there and it will get on this belt. Now I'm only going to feed one side of these guys so we'll see how that works out. I kind of like, do I need to feed the other side? I'm not sure. Um, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I could put them down anyway. There's no harm in it. I have plenty of supply here. This is the only inconvenient one here. One, two, three. Let's just take that that way and place this guy down there. Okay, that should be just fine. Um, and then, of course, the other side will continue to feed the other side. And it should be pretty good. Let's see if this is going to work or not. Oops, we need some power. Yep, though that side is getting taken off the, um, off the thing first. So that's perfect. Just perfect. Okay, so now we have a little bit of bot flying within the base itself. Cool. Looking cool. How's this doing? We have plenty of bots there in that small discrete network. And our uranium supplies probably are quite plentiful. 14,000 for now, which is immense. <laughs> we probably will never need any more than that ever. Uh, if we, unless we really, really, really wanted to. Let's go look at our nuclear uh, plant. Yeah, it's shut off at the moment. Even though, even when it's shut off, the um, the generators, the reactors do continue to burn fuel. Uh, so that's kind of something important. But that was also always a temporary fix for our lack of power issue. Uh, because eventually we'll tear down that nuclear reactor because that just costs us UPS. So... Anyway, all right, let us, let's see what else we got here. We've got all this sorted out. We have, hopefully we're going to get science. Come on, science. What's going on here? These guys are needing robo ports to charge in. So this is getting a little bit backed up here. How is this going? Looks like, did we get stuff? We did get some, uh, some science. Are the bots, are we having too many bots? Oh my God, we have too many bots. Or too much, too much bot traffic. This may not have been the best idea uh, to get this uh, sorted out. 
You know what I could do though? I could shorten their trip considerably if I if I place a, a line just going this way and had it arrive close to there. Um, would have to kind of go through this area. I could put like two parallel blue belts or something, maybe, just to like prevent such huge stupid bot distances. <laughs> feel really stupid about this whole thing. It's like, yeah, why not just slap this down? And I think a lot of us are tempted to do exactly that. Slap something down and it's like, yeah, this could be fine. And then it, you find out like, yo, this was really not, not the best idea. Definitely not the best idea. So yes, we're figuring this out. This was not the best idea, oh, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're going to be good. We're going to be figuring this out. In the meanwhile, let's go and rebuild this whole thing. Um, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this. It just seems like unused space that we could use later. Uh, right, mining, mining, mining. There we go. Miners, compact, large. That's what we want. As soon as that stuff gets finished. I'm going to place this thing down. I guess we could place it on top. There's no harm in that, I suppose. Okay, and all of that hopefully should get organized. Oh, we do need to get this across. Oh, we do need, whoa, we need stuff. We need things. Give me undergrounds. I need them. I need them, game. Give them here. Yeah, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is a bit of a disaster. It's awful. This is really, really awful. Um. Okay, let's just take this down. Uh, this can go. Yeah, we're waiting on too many bots to charge. Yeah, that's not great. All right, uh, we'll, let's see if we can mitigate the situation somewhat by putting down a few more bots charging stations here. And we need to get our, our power poles so we can function. And hopefully the bots will start going to these different newer newer places uh, and then let's well, we can do this we can go on our merry way here go this way that way this way perfect that'll go there come on guys come on bots you can do it that's okay we'll just put these down lane wise See what I did there? I knew I'd have to have one space beyond this so I can have extra miners. Oopsies, wrong keys. All right. Now, uh, do we care about this last row? I don't think we care at all about the last row. So let's take that out. This one also can go out. Um, that one. Okay, looking good. Uh, ooh, I don't want to do that at all. I want to just use our undergrounds. And what I could do is we need 26 miners per um, blue belt. So 26 times three or 26 per tier of belts. We need 78 miners per blue belt that can fill a blue belt full to the brim. I want to count 76. That's 41. Can it take this one as well? Yes. Yes, it can. How about this row? Yes. Wow. This is exactly 76. So all of these things can be put into a single blue belt. Oopsies. No. All right. Let's put that here. All right. And then this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Because every one of these can fit on one blue belt. That's one. Uh, how about the next set? Can they all fit also on one blue belt? Probably. 60. 
Yeah, I think they can. Definitely they can. Alright. Uh, oh, we are a little bit... Are we short on this? Let's just add these guys. Okay. That's fine. We'll need one more power pull, I think, there. Alright. I think that should be happy dapper like happy figuring itself out doing well let's take off these robo ports and place one where it is useful up here for construction purposes and then we can connect these guys together all right now Come on. There we go. And this guy can turn right here. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're going to want, I think. Excellent. We now have this whole thing sorted out. Alrighto. Let me, I'm going to do some very, very nice gripping of this whole thing, turning it round to get our copper going downward. Okay, so we will have kind of a short, could have a very short distance for drop off here. Um... Yeah, I think this is good. We'll just do this kind of a thing. And we'll gra grab our stack inserters. There we go. And we'll put these in passive providers. And grab this. There we are. We'll just put a couple of little power poles here and connect it up to our main network. There we are. And this is a much, much more convenient, shorter trip for the bots. And it will still allow us to use that patch up there to the best of its ability to produce. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot of ore there. Oh, we need a radar over here, too. Okay, we're going to end this episode, I think, with just plonking down this lovely radar right by our... Um, our space structure. I'm surprised that the worker speed 10 hasn't moved on yet. Let's check that out first before we go anywhere. Like it seems, I don't know if it's progressed or not progressed. Let's check technology. Oh, it takes 16,000. Right. So that's probably the issue right now is that each thousand we get from the universe, from our diligent satellite um, launches, just doesn't generate it just generates very little and we need so many different satellites to go up uh, that that's now a problem looks like green circuits are also a problem um, which we may need to also solve we can I, I don't know do we have any extras at the green circuit world we have a lot we have one green station this one is red so uh, we could probably drop off green circuits as well. That's a definite possibility. Um, wait, but we have... How many trains are waiting there? Wow, these are all materials trains. So, I think... We just, we just need more bots, I think. That's what... Or is it bots? Something's going on here that's not quite the way we want it. Um, only these, oh, these are both full. That's why. 
So these are all full. Yeah, we just we, we could get a train and move it in here and then kind of ship up green circuits the same way as we did our uh, red circuits if we wanted to. So anyway, all of these are good possibilities for the future. I will investigate this whole um, idea of the iron ore mines being named the same. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.